people are terrorists. They have killed, and there are 50 different groups. Remember one thing, Mehdi, there are 50 different Taliban groups, or at one point they were, they are less now, but at one point, 50 different groups called themselves Taliban. Amongst them were, uh, were drug mafia, land mafia. It's not just the Taliban's intolerance that's threatening Pakistan today. You have Ahmadis being persecuted by the state, Shias regularly being targeted and massacred. Would you get rid of the blasphemy laws, for example, which were brought in during the Soviet war and which lead to a lot of minorities, Ahmadis, Christians, getting lynched, being put on trial, being sentenced to death? Would you get rid of those uh, repressive laws? First of all, uh, the background of blasphemy law is this. That blasphemy law, law was brought in by the British, not at the time of uh, uh, General Zia, as it's wrongly perceived. The British brought it because when in villages where Hindu, Muslim, Sikhs, Christians were living, uh, easily a riot could take place if someone uh, said something uh, against uh, uh, something bad about someone sacred to one of the religions. So the British brought this uh, blasphemy law. It was actually to prevent Rather, there would be legal action against anyone who caused mischief. Uh, unfortunately, Mehdi, in the 80s, we got these sectarian groups. First time we, we saw Shia uh, uh, Sunni killing each other. We never had this before in Pakistan. Shia and Sunnis lived together before. But would you as Prime Minister repeal those blasphemy laws that are used to target Christians, Ahmadis and others? Mehdi, it's not the laws. The laws are not a problem. Problem are militant groups in Pakistan. What should happen is we should get rid of the militant groups. If in a village, you're living in a village in Pakistan, if, unless you fight extremism, and extremism is not going to be fought by laws, extremism has to be fought first by disbanding those groups that are perpetuating this extremism. Whatever you do with the laws, people will be killed. And remember, since we entered this uh, war on terror, things have got worse. We had Shabazz Bhatti, Salman Taseer, leading Pakistani politicians were assassinated when they spoke out against the country's blasphemy laws. A lot of Pakistani politicians would like to speak out against those laws, but they're worried about being killed. They're, they're, they're afraid for their own lives. Are you one of them? Uh, ever since 9-11, our society has got very radicalized. And it is true that you have to tread a very thin line. If you anything perceived to be, um, you know, uh, which uh, one sect or any sect thinks that is sacrilegious, yes, your life is in danger. And I'm afraid we have to, you know, we have to ride this difficult phase in our in the history of Pakistan. But the fact is, Bedi, I'll just give you a statement. I don't want to uh, uh, go too deeply into all this because it's a very difficult subject living in Pakistan. But I'll just tell you one thing. In my opinion, my party, my belief, all human beings have right. They should be protected by the state. They should be protected by the law. They should have equal rights, equal citizens. And uh, what is happening, unfortunately, in the name of religion, is painful for all of us. Because uh, this is not, in, in our opinion, most, most Pakistanis' opinion, this is not what Islam is. Do you extend equal rights to Ahmadis? All human beings, all human beings have equal rights. Anyone who is a Pakistani has an equal right. The constitution. Uh, the